is good. This, I got it. All right. Um, actually, met him. I was with this other group that we were kind of separated from the rest of the class. I remember that some days I could get along with them really well. Other days I just wanted to get out of there. But they weren't real. They were just kind of two-faced, always talking behind each other's backs. And I just didn't, I wasn't for that. I didn't care for that. My friend Diego, um, he moved really close to my neighborhood. And his parents and my parents were really close. And I remember he called me up one day out of nowhere and he said, hey, you want to come over and study? Like I got, it's me and these other girls. I was wondering if you wanted to come over and I was like, yeah, okay, I can come over. I mean, at first I was really surprised. Like, why would you call me up? We barely talk. And, but another part of me was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's, let's see where this goes. I went over and it was me, Diego, and two other girls from my class who I never really talked to. And I remember having so much fun that day because they treated me like we've spoken since forever. And it felt really good to have that acceptance from other people. I, I really didn't have that before that day. And the day after that, it was my birthday. And with the group that I was with, they didn't remember and I was like, all right. But Derek was walking by and he leans over and he's like, hey, happy birthday. And I'm like, thanks, man. Back then, it, and it still right now meant a lot to me because it was this guy who just, we hung out one day and yeah, we had fun, but you know, one day compared to five years of being with this other group, you would think somebody would get around to it first. And it, it stuck with me. So the next day, I decided that I wanted to break out from that group and try to join the rest of the class. I went with Diego. He, he always included me in with a circle and all that. And some people were very sketchy. They looked at me like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, aren't you with the other group and all that? But through time, they started to accept me and started to hear me. And it wasn't until senior year where I really felt like I was accepted because I had, I had everything. I had it all. I had, I had a great group of friends. I had a girlfriend, I had a car, I was going out, I was having fun. I, I really felt like I was at my peak. And then I realized that I had to move because I, I want to study film. And there are no film schools in Puerto Rico, so it was the only option for me. So when I got accepted to Colombia, I didn't, it didn't really sink in at first, like I'm leaving. But then, um, as the senior year was coming to an end, it was really starting to sink in, like, wow, I gotta leave everyone. I gotta leave everything. And it's like, I'm starting from scratch, but it, and some people might say, oh, it's good because it's a new beginning and all that. But for me, right now, it feels like everything was taken from me. And, like by my own hand. And I wanna do this, I'm, I don't regret it, but at the same time, I just wish I stayed. Thank you. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs>